All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to start at a, an application called CATS. CATS is a SaaS application for recruitments. It provides you the ability to create jobs, have candidates apply for jobs, basically keep track of your recruitment process. Um, we're going to actually go ahead and add a candidate uh, manually um, in, in, in CATS. Uh, so let's go ahead and say Mr. Bill Gates applied for this position as the CEO of the company and we're going to just basically provide some general uh, information I notice uh, the work the ID is obviously is not we're not going to populate that it's going to eventually auto populate let's go ahead and uh, provide some telephone number and let's give a start date of next Monday and let's say his current salary is 120,000. He's looking to bump it up to 150,000. And we're not going to notify the hiring manager quite yet. And we just put a little note here. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and add this candidate. Uh, we're going to go ahead and also add a specific job for this candidate. So let's go ahead and uh, see if Bill Gates wants to become a system administrator. Uh, so we will go through the interview process with Bill uh, and we get to a point that we want to notify uh, the hiring manager. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, say notify hiring manager and that should trigger a Slack message to be sent. And as soon as I click save I'm going to go to our Slack channel and as you can see uh, the information about uh, bill was sent to us including a link back to CAPS application if I need to go and review it and let's just go ahead and I go ahead and approve it uh, before I approve it let's go to um, uh, workday notice that we have nobody there's no nothing no re results are returned by searching for gates so um, I'm gonna go ahead go back to uh, slack and approve this to be a candidate in workday so it's calling the Jitterbit Harmony APIs to make the appropriate changes. Now, if we go back to um, CATS and refresh our page, we should have our Workday ID back now. And as you can see, the Workday ID is now 222.85.2604. Now, if we go back to our Workday search results and search for gates one more time, specifically on the staffing now we have Bill Gates as a candidate now as a user of Workday I can go ahead and go through the process of navigating this candidate through the hiring process and as you can see um, I can see uh, the personal information that uh, was submitted including the address and phone number um, now I do want to go to the studio and just show you how this integration was designed so if you notice when we created a candidate and we said that uh, hiring manager uh, needed to be notified this is basically what uh, we're doing we're getting calling the slack API and getting the information uh, into slack and um, we that, that comes in as a message the next one is when w once we press an approve button, uh, it's a little bit more complex uh, workflow because we're gonna have to pick the you know whether the the the, the box with the notify mass uh, manager hiring manager is checked or not. If it is, we're gonna go ahead and actually to cats and get the uh, candidate information, send it to Workday, and then update cats with the worker ID, uh, Workday ID and then also uncheck the hiring manager checkbox. 
So this walks you through uh, calling all the APIs and creating the workflows to take care of moving data from CATS to Slack and go through the approval process and then update uh, Workday. For more videos, uh, visit our YouTube channel and uh, see you next time.